Hey folks, here we are over here in Savona Park, Maryland, looking at a deck and screen porch addition that we just did. It turned out awesome. The customers got it all planted up. Looks really, really nice. We'll take a couple minutes and look at the outside of the deck here. In a few minutes, we'll go ahead and walk up and look at the screen porch. Uh, this is a shed roof. Uh, because the way the house was designed, we had to put a shed roof in this application and inside we'll show you how we just close in the rafters and use the soffit material so you don't see the rafters are all hidden. Um, we did six by six post sleeves on this. Customer wanted something a little bit bigger than a standard four by four or five by five. They really make the deck uh, stand out, the railing stand out, uh, gets a nice clean look. Um, here we are up on the upper, walking up on the deck now. Project turned out great. Notice how we put an area for the grill bump out so it's not on the main level of the deck. Um, two staircase, one end exiting there directly to the backyard, and then one over there exiting to the front. So hang on a second, we're going to take a walk and inside and look at the screen porch. Okay folks, here we are, we're inside the screen porch. A uh, customer has used one of these indoor-outdoor carpets to kind of accentuate like a little seating area. Absolutely fantastic job in decorating it. Uh, customer picked out their own ceiling fans which we recommend because we don't know what you want. We can certainly put the wiring boxes in for the ceiling fans. We add some recessed lighting, give a little bit of ambiance at night on a dimmer switch. Um, once again, we said that we use the 6x6 post seeds. It just creates some mass. It makes a just a different look. Um, and in a lot of our videos, this is a, one of the more popular ceiling options that we use. It's a double two vinyl soffit or type material. Um, looks great, gives it a nice finished look, adds some light to the project. Um, over here, or spin around here, we use a full view Anderson screen door, which is probably one of the more popular choices in that. And then I want to show you, it's kind of hard to show you here, but we use an AZAC tongue and groove, they call it porch decking. Um, to get away from screening the bottom of the deck in before you put the decking boards down. This, this is a tongue and groove product made uh, by AZAC specifically for this application. It's a little on the pricey side, but it looks fantastic uh, when it's down and it serves two purposes. It actually uh, keeps the bugs out and gives you a sort of like a front porch type look, an old style charm houses back in the day when you used to use the uh, four inch wide boards on the porch. Like I said, it's hard to tell from a video, but really, really nice looking decking. Hope you enjoyed. Come back and check out one of our future videos. Have a good day.